hello everyone welcome to a new video on this channel so in this video we are going to be learning how to make brackets like you see in valorant tournament something like this as you can see here this is a bracket design from vct so we are going to make something similar to this so let's get started these three are the colors we will be using and for the first part let's create the background now to make the effect like you see here we are going to be using a gradient map now this is going to be the darker color and this is going to be the lighter color now i have to select this now this is going to be the lighter color something like this now what we are going to do is we are going to reverse this gradient map so it will bring an effect like this now we will be creating these boxes as you see over here so for that now we'll start creating the boxes so for that i will be drawing a line let me change the color to this color and height is one pixels that's okay make a copy move it down now draw another line but this time vertical like this Now we will be drawing one more line in the center. This line we will make it white and change the height to 2 pixels. I will move this line down. Ok so once we are done. I'm going to zoom in and maybe I will decrease this to a little. Yes, that looks better. Now I'm going to make a square over here. Make a copy, bring it here. Make two more copies, bring it down over here okay now i'm going to click on convert to smart object now hold control and click over here this will get selected these are the boxes control g now click over here now click control i to invert the layer mask hide this and you will get something like this let's bring the opacity down to 50 percent and the opacity of this one down to 50 percent as well now i'm going to draw another line over here let's bring this down to 75 percent let's make some gap here press ctrl i to invert the layer mask okay now we are done Okay, let me change this opacity to 75%. Now, my box is ready. You can put the team name over here. On size to 12. Monster art. And change the font to regular. And bring the font to say 6 pixels. Change the color to white. Now write team name. So 
so now this is going to be our first box we can also add the time over here So making just one box takes the most amount of time when you are done with that you can just keep popping and making your bracket i will make a copy bring it down i will make another copy so let's say a tournament for 15 teams control g to group them Control T, change the size to 95% or 90%. Now increase the gap a bit. Now for the next stages, we are going to make 4 copies. And for the finals, we are going to make one big box. Now to make the lines. Let's make one straight line from here to here. Let's make uh, another straight line from here till here. Now join these two. Now we are going to make a copy of this line there. Bring it down. Control T. And then flip it vertical. Now move it up over here. Now the same process we are going to repeat, we are going to make several copies. Now we are going to repeat the same thing for the semi-finals and the finals. The brackets part is ready now you can add extra designs to make it look much better so first let me add a logo i will be adding this logo over here convert to smart object so this is the technique of clearing the background of logos you can watch it select color range and i'm going to select the white color so it is going to select the white areas now I am going to press Ctrl Shift I to invert the selection. So we have selected the logo. Now close it. Okay, so this bottom part should be white. It would look better. So for that, I am going to make a white layer over here and click create flipping mask now when I close it we get something like this
as you can see they have added many more extra things over here like this best of three best of one and then some patterns like this some lines over here so we can add something like that too as well So with that we are done here and that's it for this video. If you like this video and you want to see more of Valorant content from us, please write that down in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that is what keeps us motivated to keep making videos. Thank you.